Hey guys, Sample here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm gonna be showing you some cute little, like, not cute, I don't know, I don't know where that came from, but some awesome little map uh, map making tricks that I have um, sort of come up with. And the first one here is this is completely on my own. Actually, you know, you know, we'll start off there. Why, why should we go from you know left? Oh yeah, we'll go left to right. Ugh. Weird me. But okay, uh, so the first one is, um, okay, it's a trick so that, let's say in uh, a mini game, let's say you have a, a certain class, like such as um, the Blaze class, and you want that character to be portrayed with fire around him. So, um, yeah, you could do, let's show this. And let me just go into F5 mode, and you can see that as I walk around, these particles will come off me, and they go on forever until I am, until they're turned off. So uh, if I click this, uh, it'll go away. So yeah, let's get into it quickly. Oh no, I'll show you this other one. So this is another particle. It just works the same way. Just an example. So as I walk around. Uh, it's putting these particles out. This is actually the drip lava particle that you get when lava drips from a block. So let's turn this off quickly. And let's get into it, I'll show you guys. Uh, so here's a little clock, and it's just ticking away. I'm not I'm not that I'm a genius to say how far how fast it's ticking, but all it's doing is testing for a team red with a, a limited amount a limited level minimum level of one if i go into game uh mode s there we go okay so i you can currently see that i have a game mode level of one now if i go here and do this and you could start seeing the effects but if i do uh slash xp uh what is it one how does xp work okay oh uh, negative one l at a if i do that it takes the all my xp levels away from me and as you can see the particles went away because it's only testing for certain part uh, a team player with a xp one uh and yeah and then here all um this is a little contraption uh comparator hooked up to a torch so when this detects a player with a min minimum level of one in team red this will turn off this torch allowing this command block to be triggered right now it can't be triggered because it's being blocked but oh i'm in yeah oh i'm in i need to go back to uh, creative here and you can see it's just displaying particle with uh, these coordinates uh right here and then at the person in team red so everyone in team red uh if i put multiple players in they'll all get that same particle with the same rate and yeah it's just doing that and it works exactly the same for this one and i've tried to make it as contact uh compact well no you can probably make it a little this a little bit more compact i don't know but i just wanted to it's just an example and you guys can use this in your map making uh, maps if you guys are coming up with some and the next thing, uh, oh, and just a reminder, all these uh, gimmicks that I've created are for the mini game map that I, that is going that is going to be coming out in a couple of weeks, I think. Uh, uh, let me just clear my inventory. Uh, clear inventory. I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> there we. Oh, there we. Oh, just do that. Okay. So let's clear it up a little bit and let's take a firework rocket. Now, um, what this little contraption here is, uh, let's say you want to create a, um, a smoke screen, uh, a smoke screen for a certain amount of time, let's say around 10 seconds, and then it just goes away. So what you have to do as you're running around, let's say in a mini game, you click this and it'll create a smoke screen and uh, it'll just block you off. And then after a while, the smoke just goes away. And yeah, and then you can move on and you can place it as many times as you want. It's not affected. You can have just like a line of this, but you can't really spam it too much because it's using a, li a little trick that kind of might mess up if you have too many starting so you, you can't just do four at once yeah um okay see so they're all here oh there might be a little problem that we need to work at slash kill at e type oh no name chicken 
So I just killed all the chicken and <laughs> you guys will realize why it was chickens. Now I need to check something here. Kill at E. Yeah, it's saying kill the earlier chicken. TP chicken. Yeah, it's supposed to teleport the, the youngest chicken. Hmm, I don't know why it's not working, but usually it works. And just, yeah, uses one by one, not much. I'm gonna clear this away quickly. And I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So, first of all, you just have a little redstone block clock here. And what is this? Um, the, yeah, okay, this block. So, what is it doing? This is testing for a fireworks rocket entity. So, that's just practically fireworks. And then, once that detected, it turns it into it goes into this block which has a giant data tag and all these commands will be in the description below for you guys to check out and this creates a giant uh, thing which summons a chicken right above it uh, in a certain spot I don't know why it's negative three but it has active effects of invisibility and amplifier with two and duration to a thousand um, and I think it ha and its movement speed is being lowered to the lowest, uh, so it can't really move. So it's an invisible chicken that can't move with no particles, and and the way that is so that when the chicken is spawned, uh, the command box will be able to detect the chicken where it is, but it's invisible, so the players can't really affect it, and and it's invulnerable, so it can't be killed. So here, what this command, big command does, is that it teleports the chicken, the earliest chicken, to the fireworks rocket entity, the earliest firework, fireworks that are going off. And then it goes to a giant little clock here, so you have a large tick. Yeah, this could be more compact. I just was trying to get the stuff to work. It took a while, but I finally got it. And then this teleports the chicken to just um, that position right here, where the lava block is. And this kills the chicken. So if the chicken doesn't get killed, and if there's some other random rogue chicken running around, it kills that chicken off. So you that's how the particle goes away immediately, because the t chicken gets teleported into the lava pit. And yeah, the, the, I found it took me a while to figure this out, so I'm really, really proud of how this worked out. Uh, and yeah, this is kind of taken from uh, one of Sethling and Wooby Concepts video of like exploding the s snowball exploding thing. So that's technically, actually no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm giving the wrong credit. This is actually ta uh, uh, taken from Dragnaz, and he is like a great map maker. He has great skills. He's like my idol, I, I should say, yeah, and he has made a, a video about uh, how to do this, and he made a different type of smoke screen, I wanted a time it, timed smoke screen kind of thing, so I took a little bit of his ideas, I took some of his uh, commands, and I turned it into my own, so yes, it's his thing, and the last one is an uh, idea that I also got from Dragonoz, which is, uh, no, this is not it, and which is, if you guys have ever played Dishonored, um, if you guys don't know what, uh, and if you guys played Dishonored, you would know what's, uh, what's called the Wall of Light. And the Wall of Light, if you guys don't know what Dishonored is and you have never played this, it's a Bethesda game. It's a pretty good game. I'm not endorsing it here. I'm just saying it's a really good game. And if you haven't played uh, Dishonored, you would, you would know that a Wall of Light is just a barrier created by electricity so as soon as you walk into the wall of light it will like kill you really fast and it's really difficult to escape out of the wall of light once you enter it and i've set up this red uh, ring well no square around the wall of light because once you step beyond this uh let's say border you will start taking ultimate amount of damage and it will kill you in like two shots and uh, this is actually, these are barrier blocks, and I'm not getting killed because I'm in creative, so it doesn't use the kill command, but it does use the, let's see, if you're going to whack, place whack, okay, uh, I'll show you how, guys, it works, let me just go back into game mode, S, and, <laughs> okay, as you saw there, um, as you saw there, it instantly just killed me off, it was, it's really fast. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, so you can't, uh, oh, I ch oh, that's because I changed the range, okay, yeah, okay, so I did change the range of the wall of light, so once, if you even touch the red wall block, you will get, like, decimated immediately, so there's no way of you escaping the wall of light, 
<laughs> and yeah, um, so that's practically the wall of light. Oh my god, no! <laughs> stop, stop. Let me get my sandstone, please. Okay, and uh, if you guys saw that before, um, you can actually see it in creative mode, I think. Yeah, see, you see the random instant damage too. Okay, and the way this works is it uses an execute command that will execute. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is this is. Let me get started. And this was inspired from one of Dragonaz's uh, videos about how um, item frames can and items in item frames can give you certain amount like beacon-like effects, like beacons like these. And so I took from that and I decided, you know, why not make a wall of light, like a barrier where if they try to enter it close to it, they will just get eliminated. Can I see the instant damage effect? There we go. There it is. Yeah. And so, um, so, okay, the way it works is that I created a, let me just do scoreboard. Uh, okay, objective. Objective list. And right now there's an objective called wall. And wall is a dummy um, objective, um, which is a dummy means only can be affected by commands and not by player trigger. And so the way it works is that uh, let me let me show you again you guys see these item frames that are around uh, the beacon blocks and what I did is uh, you can do scoreboard scoreboard uh, players at E in the range of 10 let's say and then you can do oh no oh I messed up you set at E uh, range of 10 to wall one and now what I'm doing is I'm setting their the item frame score of the objective called wall to one and it changes just it detects all the different item frames and it puts them in there's some more item frames that are hidden so you guys don't see them so that's why there's a giant list here and it actually set my uh, score too so for to change that you just need to go to player set at a wall call wall zero and you do that and then you'll be safe so you don't just get killed as soon as you spawn in and okay and then let's get into this execute command what it does is tests for uh a any entity in the entire world with score of wall one uh minimum uh one score and then it applies the effect of at the at the any player in the range in the two block range of these item frames uh, with a instant damage of a power one effect and with no particles so that's that in in the crude terms that's exactly what it's doing it's just that the, it's a detecting if, the, if there's a player in a range of the item frames and then it's outputting a effect onto the on the player and it will just immediately kill it so you don't get a warning you should probably know what i could add though is that i'm not gonna do it now because it might take a while but is that once you get in a range of five let's say um you know what we're gonna do that because we are such uh, just great people today let's do this let's copy the command in and it will give an effect actually no we'll do tell raw uh, wait let me see how the tell raw command works I'll cut this out and I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, okay, we're back. And so, <laughs> as you guys saw there, um, I actually figured out how to do it. And so what I did, I just took the execute command and I cloned another one. And instead that, it does just test for a person in the brain. Um, well, <sighs> Let me get back to that referring to the item frame uh, it tests for a person in a three block range of the item frame any of these item frames there are 16 under there and then it once it does that it will trigger a comparator here that will tell raw a command and something something so you guys can actually read it once i walk in here so that block right there uh let's just replace that so the blue area is going to be the, the well the blue line is when we step on it and it'll give us the message so like right here oh it's actually here wow oh, don't expect that but okay it's right here 
You walk here, and I think you'll take damage. Yeah, the blue line is when you actually start taking damage. Oh, that's, oh, that's bad. Okay, and here you can, do not come any closer. So bam, you die. Okay. So yeah, that's practically how I got it to work. And so before I actually had the this command right here set up here, and then I realized it was just replicating like crazy. Like it was, you guys see here, I was testing, and it filled up my chat. And so, yeah, it took me a while to figure it out, but I kind of got it here. So it says, you're approaching a wall of light, but you are the wall can kill you. Do not come any closer. And once I step out of it, it just goes away. And then I can kind of spam it, like here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed this little video about all the little gimmicks that I've come up with. You guys can use them in your mini mini maps, anything. Just leave a link to my channel or this video itself. And... If you actually enjoyed all these little mic, uh, map making gimmicks, um, please leave a like and subscribe to me in the channel below. I don't, I not, I'm not, I don't just play Minecraft with map making, but I do actually do survival stuff and other games. So yeah, you know, don't get weird about that. And I, I'm looking forward to the mini game that's gonna be coming. I, I find it really fun to play right now but it's still it's still in beta stages because i have to still figure out some stuff but it's it's playable right now it's like to the raw scale it's playable so yeah guys um i hope you enjoyed uh what else do i have oh yeah okay um all the commands uh used here will the especially these giant ones the other ones might, might not so be in there but like especially these ones this giant one, the, the spawning, the chicken one, all that. All these all these commands will be in the description below for you guys to check out. And yeah, my name is Sampo and I wish to see you guys next time. And until then, stay awesome, guys. I was just listening for the music. <laughs> see you guys.